Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. Okay. Because it's getting exciting, isn't it? Because this is what the shower screen is going to hang on. One of the problems I have with everything is actually getting it all uh, square because the boat isn't actually square. It's got a slight list like this and also the front is slightly higher than the back. I had that done so that the water would drain off the decks. But it gets really quite complicated and difficult. So there's a lot of I line aside. And uh, this is a machine cut piece of board. And uh, you know, you can just kind of line it up and then um, at least make it square with the floor and also try and make it plumb with the bed so that when you look at it through the door, it doesn't look all naff. But anyway, this is the uh, first bit of wall for the uh, Pets, the bathroom shower. So I've got to screw this in next. That's this corner here, isn't it? Yeah. Which we're talking about in this corner here. So this is week eight, eight in the boatyard, yeah. and uh, we're doing very well. It's actually Monday afternoon, and we've already built this stuff wall yes. uh, for the bathroom, which is the end. So this wall eventually will get covered in uh, oak uh, plywood. And uh, then there's going to be a big uh, picture here, isn't there? Yeah. On the Caribbean, Caribbean picture. Caribbean picture. <laughs> yeah, absolutely wonderful. So it's been a good day, but it's uh, no good for fog glassing. No, it's not good. So we, it's very, very windy and it's cold. Quite yeah, cold. it's actually really quite cold today. Yeah. And it's supposed to be 20 degrees. Yeah. So yet another day when we can't finish the pilot house, but we're going to get the pilot house finished this week. Uh, we are also going to do the hatch on the front cabin. Yeah, we're going to hatch in. cut the boat, the metal. Yeah, cut the steel work and, and put uh, the hatch in. Put the hatch in. We didn't do it last week, so it's rolled over to this week. Yes, and we're going to build uh, the ceiling after that. Yeah, we're going to try and put the ceiling in and uh, all the hatch and, and try and do all the walls. All so this. we're going to kind of focus on this front half of the boat. Uh, somebody asked me, you haven't put any plumbing in and you haven't put any drainage in or cables in. And I've done that for a purpose. Purpose because uh, on our last boat on the lagoon they obviously put everything in before they kind of put the interior in and then the roof on and you can get to absolutely nothing it's it's an absolute nightmare so what I wanted to do is put all the main components in and then thread uh, the pipes and various things into the boat so that if I can get them in I know I can get them out and service them mm -hmm. so that was you know, my, my reason for not doing it yet. But, but you have to try uh, to think on that. On it's it's going to happen, it has to happen this week. This week yeah. uh, we're going to have to start putting plumbing in and uh, various things like that. So the whole project is going to get far more interesting. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, Uh, 
Someone cut all the outside, uh, so now we're trying to find the lines inside so that we can uh, cut this from the inside. So I'm not very surprised. Like you found a good, yeah. big machine. I know. Look at the size of that. So uh, Steve said, if you need a bigger disc, because that one's a bit used, let me know, and you'll change the disc. But that's how good they are here. Yeah, they just lend you stuff. They're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, this is it, guys. This is mega production. Arthur, I put gloves on for this. Yes. With the weather improving, we take the opportunity to have another go at the pilot house. That's me again pausing the video to give you time to subscribe to our channel. 70% of you guys are watching the videos without subscribing. Please help us to produce these free videos for you. Have you done it? Lovely. Let's continue the show. Thank you everyone. This is called peel cloth. You spread resin on the surface, roll the cloth out on top and soak with resin again. When dry, you remove the cloth which has acted as a mold. It should give us a great finish. Very, very stressful because Simon is upstairs and I have to do this very quick so he doesn't uh, miss So we just finished the roof. Yes, so the, it's always a bit stressful working with fiberglass in the resins and isn't it? Yeah, because uh, it's all going to go off and as soon as it starts to go off you've had it so it's all a bit tricky but uh, it actually did go rather well yes. and um, we're quite pleased. Uh, this is called a peel cloth so you put some resin on then you put the cloth on then you put more resin on and then what you can do is you can peel the cloth off once so it's dry. dry so it acts like a mould mm -hmm. and uh, should give us a very good finish so 
we're really hopeful. Let's go and see uh, how Simon is going on the hedge. Uh, he's having some problems, I know. So let's go and have a look. Tell me about your struggles. Uh, well, I'm tapping the uh, screw threads in here for the hatch and the tap's broken off on one of them and it's in the hole. So what I'm kind of doing is trying to drill it out and also cut it and then I'll put a nut on the inside which will work fine. But it's causing a bit of a struggle. I'm <laughs> I thought you were in struggle. Yeah. It's my broken window. It came today, so I just put it on. It's all good, yes. What's happened? It's smoking. Do you think it had it? I don't think it has. Well, it was only used, you know, about 10 times. Yeah. It can't be. The, the, the basket is not full. So I don't understand why. It's I have been very careful. If, uh, it's definitely smoking. It is smoking. It's on fire. It doesn't smell yet. Probably okay. Okay, so here we are. See, today is the magic day yeah. where we're going to take the pill off and see what happens. It's a nice texture, nice texture, but um, I'm gonna give a bit of uh, another scent with a thinner uh, one. I'm going for 120 now, and um, just to take these little bits of um, uh, bubbles in some places, and then we'll give another coat of resin. We decided just to be smooth. Yeah. What are we gonna do? So unfortunately, I'm not sending again. Okay, so basically, I had to uh, send the whole roof again. Uh, it was a bit wavy in some points, so I just um, did it again with 80 and 120. So it was a lot of work. What we're going to do now, I, I wouldn't use that uh, peel off thing again. If it's a big surface like it is, I wouldn't use again. Um, because basically now we're going to put another coat of uh, resin on the whole roof. We're going to be very, very generous. So see how it goes. And once it's dried, I know it will be some places that I couldn't send at all. Um, so some places will be, I will need to put some filler again, but it will, it's going to be just in certain places and I know where they are, and I know where they are, so I will go and do that, and then a bit of sand again, and then we'll be ready for painting.
Okay, there's the final hatch. It's uh, siliconed in and you can see the wedge along there. It was a very, very difficult job uh, tapping into the deck. The steel was very hard and uh, it all proved to be a bit challenging for me actually, which was all a bit disappointing. Never mind, it's there now. So I'm not giving the second coat of paint today because uh, it is dry, but if I put my weight on it, it leaves a little bit of mark. So I suppose it's better to wait until it's completely, completely dry and try to do it next week. Okay, what a great week! Yes, I'm exhausted. So today is Friday. I'm absolutely exhausted. I can't even go back on my bicycle today. Today I'm going to put the bicycle in the van and I'm going to take a ride. I have to drive. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a great week actually, uh, when we really add up everything that we've done. Yeah. Because we uh, have now got paint on the pilot hatch roof. Yes, we have the first coat on it. I can't do more because uh, it's dry, but if I put my weight on it, you, because yeah. I have to go on the top, uh, it will leave some marks, so I'd rather wait and not spoil what I have. So we do uh, two layers of uh, gel coat and then uh, we're painting it. Yes. Or resin and then that thing. Uh, so that's really coming on very well. Yes. After four days of work, I've managed to get the hatch in. <laughs> <laughs> He's been grumpy all day. Terrible job. It was the worst job I've ever done in my life. It was horrible. I hated it and uh, it became very challenging, but it's done. And we built uh, all this behind us, which is absolutely it's great. It's beautiful. This yeah. wall, I think, is just amazing. Yeah. We're, yeah. When we, I have, uh, I give a first coat of paint, it's going to be beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So it's really, fun. in the end, it's been really quite a successful week. All the batteries have arrived from yes. uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Uh, so uh, we've I got have to say, they have an excellent customer service. They do. Them. Absolutely fantastic. That lady, yeah. Ju something. Julia. I mean, she emails from her all the time. Just she follows it up every day. She tells you where they are and on the railway and everything. And if anybody wants to buy lithium batteries, uh, just drop us a line. And we'll, I really recommend this company. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. We're not making any money with no, that. No, absolutely full nothing. Price, yeah. Yeah. Full price and the VAT. <laughs> yeah, and the VAT. So it's been uh, it's been brilliant, really. And uh, hopefully uh, this week coming, uh, we're going to start putting some plumbing in and things like that and uh, getting a little bit more technical with the stuff, uh, which is uh, really good, and the kitchen should be actually. Well, the kitchen is behind, I think, yeah. because we haven't paid yet, and no. I, I don't think until we pay, they are gonna go uh, forward with the no. order. No. So, I don't know, I don't know. That no. might get us delayed at some point yeah. in some way. Yeah. Yeah. But we're pleased, it's good, everything's good. Everything's Cheers. Good.